pure Bindi is here. He's adorable. I love him. I hope he's a big part of the game and not just a fucking cop-out. So help me God, if that's just regular old Bindi taking on a child form to scare you, I'm gonna be upset. Today we are going to be doing a discussion. Today's discussion is on a game I never thought I would talk about again. That being Bindi and the Dark Revival. Apparently, four months is uh, uh, long enough for the guy to decide, Hey, this guy uploaded a video. Time to bring this game back from the dead. I literally just made a video this year talking about how this game was dead and not coming back because it had been dead for over a year and everyone said they gave up development. It's back, so we're going to talk about it today. Well, part of the reason everyone was saying, yeah, it's dead, on top of, like, all the animators being fired and everything, no one really being there to work on it anymore, was they were having issues with the store. Like, the store had stopped making anything, so they figured, like, it was just discontinued. They had already made everything for the Dark Revival, I'm pretty sure, and none of it ever got released. So... I'm going to do some heavy speculation. I think the Dark Revival we're getting is not the Dark Revival that was in development because the Dark Revival that was just shown off is reusing a ton of Bindi 1 assets. It's reusing all of the enemies from Bindi 1. It's reusing several of the villains, including Alice Angel, who definitively died. It's reusing Bindi. It's reusing... A lot of the level layouts, like, we saw a lot of the classic levels from Bindi 1 being reused in this trailer for Bindi 2. So, I think a lot of this is being pieced together with the Bindi 1 assets. Just because they didn't have enough people to complete assets for Bindi 2. So, Bindi 2 is going to be a big rehash of Bindi 1. When we see that yeah. some... Allies are returning too, including good Alice Angel, so chances are good Boris is coming back and Henry's probably coming back. We got to see our new villain and our new antagonist. We don't really know much about them and that uh, the villain is basically Joey Drew too. So this is a rehash of Bindi, which was already a very bland, ambiguous and non-defined game. Like, narratively, the first Bindi game doesn't really have a coherent story. And the fact that they're already rehashing the assets, rehashing the protagonist, rehashing the villains, it makes me lose the little bit of faith that I ever had in this game being good. I think what likely happened, because there was a lot of fallout, and the guy was clearly upset at like, what happened and changed the ending of the first one. I think he's just completely going to redo what was originally going to be done for uh, the Dark Revival. And kind of seems like it, not really a reboot, but also kind of like a reboot. Because, like you said, uh, someone who had died and definitively died is here. I guess it could be, like, somehow an ink copy, but... I don't know. Seems weird. Seems maybe like an alternate universe or something. No, it's like, on alternate universe. They say that he got rid of the ink demon and then he's bringing it back to kill the new protag. So they literally established just how long it's been since the first game. So it's definitively canon. Very fair. So I guess I'll talk about the one good thing from this trailer and then be done with this. The one good thing is pure Bendy. We already got a pure Alice. We already got a pure Boris. Pure Bindi is here. He's adorable. I love him. I hope he's a big part of the game and not just a fucking cop-out. So help me God, if that's just regular old Bindi taking on a child form to scare you, I'm going to be upset. If you're going to rip off Bioshock, rip off Bioshock right. Give us the little demon. Keep the little demon. Keep little <laughs> Bindi. Bindi is the face of this franchise. Bindi is the main thing that sold this. 
at least the other fucking game that kind of ripped you off made Huggy Wuggy like an actual thing. Give us real Bindi. I want real Bindi in this game. Don't fucking cop out. Please. Give us real Bindi as a character we interact with, and this game might be tolerable.